Hello, welcome to my next free tutorial and first I want to say thank you Touch Designer Help Group for inspiring me because of uh, community question and some days ago I seen a question about is it possible to make the uh, particle soap be controlled by optical flow. The answer was no, but I think it's possible and it's not very efficient way but uh, it's very good exercise to understand the sense and workflow to working with geometric, uh, geometry, geometrical attributes and understand how to deal with data conversion and touch designer. What we need to make particle fly? We need some geometrical point which has a V attribute for velocity, which is a vector which shows to uh, particle soap which direction need that particle to fly on the first frame. And what particularly do with optical flow? It calculates the movement of the points showing the uh, red channel for the X and green channel for the Y component of a vector. So let's create it. So we can find the optical flow in palette tools, connect it here, maybe increase the force to make the vector more long and let's create a new top on the end. And now we can uh, calculate the alpha channel for the optical flow output, which will contain the information about that point is moving or not. For that we can use the GLSL top, which is a faster way to work with pixel data. Let's write a code. First we use the simple uh, GLSL template. Let's uncomment the first string. So we assign the input texture values to the output variable color. And what we need to make else to add a threshold parameter. So let's uncomment the uniform float write the name threshold use that variable in shader parameters and vector page and let's make a float v is equal to color to absolute because velocity can have a minus value so let's make a color red multiplied by color blue then make float a for alpha equal to zero and if v is more than threshold then we assign a value of 1 to alpha and set that to the color a is equal to a voila next step we should create the geometry so let's make a grid soap let's make it the proportional size 1.28 by 0 0.72 let's make it row two by two columns, convert it to the points using add soap, delete geometry and keep the points. And we can also use a sprinkle to generate the point field. And let's make 30,000 point, points and merge these two guys together. Then we need to assign the texture to the point attribute using the texture soap and that will generate UVs from 0 to 1 so we set it to point texture then we can use a point soap to generate the velocity attribute using particle page and add velocity option then we just delete the expression here okay now we can convert the points to the chop context using sop to chop and then we convert 
node positions by the texture UVs, which we can use to sample the texture value using top to chop. So we create a top two, drop the video from video device in, and we calculate RGB. Then we repeat the operation using another top two, and then we're going to sample the output from the optical flow. We don't need blue channel. And we have RG for X and Y and alpha for checking if geometry is moving or not. Then we can, then actually we need to make the second two going from the SOP2 directly and merge that guys together. So we have all six channels in one flow. And then we use the chop to SOP to assign that channels back to geometrical attributes. So we're going to use the proper order R, G and B. Let's rename in second top to the channels to velocity X, velocity Y and let's left the alpha. So then we need to say we use alpha, velocity x, and velocity y. Then now assign that to CD0, 1, 2, 3. And then we use the same syntaxes for velocity. V round parenthesis 0, and V round parenthesis 1. Voila, we have all uh, attributes assigned. Now we need to delete points which are not moving. And for that we can use the delete soap, switch entity to points and in numbers, we set delete by expression and we can use the expression. So for simplicity, I'm going to use the script and dollar CA is equal to zero. That points will be deleted. That was a small mistake in the code. We should multiply R by green. Now we can see that we have alpha here and everything starts to work. So we can create the particles. For that we're going to create a particle SOP and let's set it up to point sprites. Then we set life to two drag force to 2, 2, uh, amount of particles, let's make it 2000. Then let's make a small gravity. And let's render it. Let's make the output of particles to put it in geometry object, set up camera. Let's make the camera orthographic and set the ortho width to 0 0.128. Then we create a point sprite material, assign it to geometry and let's create the render top. Render top. Now we can set the point sprite scale to 2. Let's make a small feedback. feedback level reduce opacity over compose that with original render bring it back to feedback then using the select top we can capture the original camera stream and we compose it using the overtop. And now you can see that particle flow, uh, the optical flow start to control the particles. And we can also control the direction. Maybe if we 
multiply the original vector by minus one color rg equal multiply equal minus one we can invert the direction of movement so the particles start to move the same direction like the pixels thank you and see you in the next free tutorial